Hello everybody and welcome back to Opus Echo of Star Soul. When we left off, I believe we were trapped in jail and I'll just click continue and now old Jun's talking. How long has it been since then? Oh, because it, I guess it's... Continue. Expanded years. What's happened? Something's going on. Don't go. It's too late. Oh, right. we're going through this scene again. Yeah, okay. We've already done this thing. Uh, well, this has already happened. We're locked in jail. I remember that. It's been a while since I last played. Mainly because... Light. Thing. Yep, and all that stuff. Anyway, let's skip this. Wait, hold on. Let's put it. And we back. All right. So this is where we left off in a cage. Wrapped here, wondering what else we're going to be doing. I, think I already talked. Oh, yeah, I collected these memories before. Remember that. Remember that. Then we collected that one. Inari. It's going to be completely taken apart if we take you on. I need to step by and I need some way to connect its onboard system. got is this. Copy of which star song on the door. Doesn't work. Find a way out. Hey, you! You done with that gate? Even if you did open it, we have guys on the other side too, so give up. No. No. I'm not done with this gate. Find a way out. Oh, is he just going to say the same thing? Right. Uh, Z to go back. Let's, let's go back. Can we talk to anyone? Talk to you. What do you have to say? <coughs> Please, Kay's hurt. I need to get him out. Do you have any ideas? Uh, how well do you perform? Let me try. I, I couldn't open the gate. You need, you need a better star song. I can record one for you. You're near the center of the cave, so I'll see what I can hear. Without singing, all you'll need to do is point the synthesceptor recorder towards me. How is that possible? Be careful. <coughs> She could be a real witch. Or their ability to sense lumen allowed them to speak out caves and other ships, making them effectively human radars. Now what do you say to the person who treated your wounds? Don't associate me with those witches of war. I'm a witch of the Red Chamber. Focus on cultivating my soul, not becoming an instrument of war. I know what you're thinking. If I can produce star songs, why don't I just open the gate myself. Well, opening lumen gates requires a vocal technique that some witches possess. Fortunately, my throat is incapable of it. You trust me now? Here we begin. Trust that you're an honorable person. The singing has to do with honor. Ready to record. Come close up. I can't sing very loudly. That was the star song of this asteroid. That should allow you to open the gate with your sense. Wait. Wispy Witch's star song. A sample of Eda's voice from when we first met. Faint. As if it damaged. Her voice. So beautiful. that I'll never forget. Right. We now have a Wispy Witch's star song. Beautiful. It's, it's nothing. So. Now we can open the gate. Next. That's where the missing half comes in. If we do open the gate, I don't know how we can sneak past the pirates. Unless there's some way to distract them. Hmm. I have an idea. I can offer them my ship to let us go. I need some way to connect my ship. Open the gate and just run. Signals of the ocean ship should be easy enough to filter. How will you control it if it's not activated? Here it's engines. They definitely act. I can hear its engine. They definitely activated my ship. Once the gate's open, I can give you the ship's access code. Serious? 
worth considering. Yep, yeah, I'll give her the ship's axe. She's a trust. She gave me a song. I give her my ship. That's how it works. <laughs> All right. It really could work. This is outrageous, sir. Your crew member, the pilot, is she ready for this? She's already standing by. In a moment, I'll enter the port and pretend to be a cargo ship in this. Looks very young. Is that safe? Don't worry. She grew up dealing with pirates. What about you? You should know that there's no guarantee that this will work. Are really willing to do this? What could I lose? That boy tried to open the gate before comprehending its frequency. Much too impulsive. Which clan is he from? He belongs to Lee, the, that insignificant clan with the mining rights to Shemen and Kianjia. The clan failed negotiations with the United Mining and was driven out of Thousand Peaks. Her Majesty, this was unfair competition. My opponent had the inscriptions memorized beforehand. I had no choice but to rush. Be quiet. Your Majesty, young master of Lee questions your judgment. Forgive him, your Majesty. My young master is not good with words. He implies no such thing. Hey, this is my responsibility. Watch yourselves, both of you. Step back. Ooh. Please forgive my failure to discipline my people, your majesty. I placed my trust in you, Grand Master. Issue the verdict. At 1200 standard time, three and one out of three out of 40 of the East Ocean Gallander, the 16th heir of the Lee clan, entered a match for the mining rights to the Tong. As the cosmos bears witness, the match has concluded with the defeat of Lee. Therefore, the mining rights to the Tong will be revoked from the 16th heir. In the issue, the Lee clan committed further offense by questioning the results of the match. As such, Lee Clan's mining rights to all Grade 1 caves, including Shehmen, Ishan, and Hianjia, are henceforth revoked. Effective immediately. Your Majesty, please! Revoking our mining rights will deprive the clan of its livelihood. You should learn to keep your people in check, Grand Master. The defeat suffered here today pales in comparison to the reckless actions we have witnessed. This Lee Clan will always. Oh wow, just lost everything. Hey, are you alright? I'm fine. Stay focused. My pilot has just entered the port. She's pretending to negotiate right now. If you take any longer, I might ask her to open the cabin. Open the gate when you're ready. We're running out of time. <laughs> Sleepy boy. Sleepy boy doing the sleepy thing. All right, open the gate with the wispy witch's star song. Here we go. It's responding. You can start the performance. Before we start, I'd, I'd just like to reintroduce myself. My name is Ed Walloon of the Red Chamber Trading Vessel. Pleasure to meet you, Noble. Call me Jun, third rank noble of Lee, ninth of the East Clans. Man is Kay, my guardian. Our life and death. Miria never lasts. Thank you for offering truth. You can make it out of life alive? Are you are you I owe you my life. I need no such thing. I'm sorry, Kay, but pirates will leave you here to die. I, I must save you. Please! This isn't worth it! We're all set. As soon as the gate opens, my pilot will send a signal to your ship. Stop! Focus. Great on the star song. Use left, right to tune the song. Use up, down to adjust the volume. Use C to resonate. Okay. Okay. This and volume. And C. Doesn't sound right. I need to... Oh, I see. But I need to have all of these line up. That. Yep. Ooh! Oh, I did it! 
I did it really well. I just fluked it, I did. I mean, the access code is make great East Ocean greet your turn. I'm sorry, Kun. I hate how these are so fast. I, I wish they just... <clears throat> it's hard to commentate on this game. When all the things just go by. Oh. Now! Let's go, Kay! He just blew up the ship. It is gone. Within the Myrian shrines, to separate the lower and higher deities, only the gods that could chant the inscriptions on the massive gates were allowed to come. Hmm, most interesting. Most interesting. Oh, everything's on fire now. Eddie, what? Just when they started, to, the, the ship went boom. I don't know how you managed to find an ocean and a ship, but that, damn, that felt good. Everyone at the port is going nuts. Hurry up. To hurry. My pilot is already here. Okay. Just get, get, in, get in there. Just hobbling along. Come on, Kate. Okay? We're a bit slow today for some reason. What, what's gotten into you, mate? You should be hurrying. I'm at the port. Ramp, to, ramp six. Couldn't give me. Oh, that was an explosion. Hey, are you all right? Get them. Damn it, shoot the kid. Hurry. Pick him up, pick him up. Go. Oh, I'm not leaving you behind. Let's go. Stop them. Oh, they're trying to kill us. Quick, keep hobbling the bad shots. They're just as bad as the stormtroopers in the Star Wars sagas. This is Ram Sips. Swipe, right? Where's, where's your pilot? There. Watch out. What is that ship? Good Lumen. That brings a Lumen scan. It's a unit of lighted Lumen seeking vessel. Hey, aren't you the thugs from the market? Hey, don't don't come near our ship. Where are the people? You, where are the people you're bringing, Eddie? Let them come on board, Remy. No way. No time to explain. They're coming for us. I'm glad they let us board the ship instead of just abandoning us, because that would have fucked. Bones Brigade Base escape. Red Chamber. The ship's called Red Chamber. Warning, armor damaged in multiple locations. Heat signal locked on. Emergency takeoff, let's go, Red Chamber. Whoa, animation quality. Good. Like it. Liking it lots. All safety levels down to 31%. Don't come near the flight deck. <coughs> Don't worry, Kay. We'll be out of here soon. You two grab a hold of something. They should be thrown into the airlock and ejected. I mean, please, prepare for hyper travel. <laughs> Calculating velocity. Locating destination. Destination locked. Entering hyper level in five, four, three, two, one. What, what's wrong? Hyper travel failed. The engine is overheated. Restarting the engines. Well, that's not great. Remy. No, this never happened to Red Chamber. We were, were the engine damaged on our way out? Hey, which? This is a lumen-seeking vessel, isn't it? Hey, you have to sit still. Don't know how your kids got this ship, but listen. Don't tell us what to do with our ship. Listen, damn it, I know how to fix this. Support vessels for seeking out the enemy. <laughs> you enter hyper travel right after takeoff, it'll lock up the engines. They need to override the ship's authorization levels. Give this to the witch, Sir Jun. Hyper travel instructions. I still remember the, the startled look on Ida's face when Kay scribbled the instructions on the piece of paper I handed her. You would, would never would have thought the Ocean of Guardian who stood beside her was a seam seasoned human war veteran. All right, let's give it to her then. Yeah, have have these. This really fix it. Ah, 
looks like it is. Hyperspeed enabled. It worked. The engines are back up. Pfft. Can't believe it worked. Emmy. Okay, okay. Preparing for hyper travel. Warning: the ship has been locked on. Warning: armor on the left flank damage. All safety levels down to 23%. Counting down. Four. Hey, your wounds. Can you handle the acceleration? <laughs> I've been through worse. <laughs> you worry too much. You little bastard. Can't believe you blew up the Clan Master's ship. Sit tight, you two. Press the room wounds. Three. Sh shouldn't I? Sorry for the things I said to you before. Thank you for saving me. Two. I'm the one who should thank you for saving Kay. One. All right, we're about to take off. And off they go. That's pretty cool. Somebody tell me who these people are. <laughs> At the end of the prologue. Chapter two, part one. Yay! We made it. Chapter two. Hoorah. Probably going to be talking. Story of Ido goes back further back, long before I met it, 66 years ago. But for now, I'm going to have to end this. Thank you all for watching. Please leave a like, subscribe. Let me know what you think of this game in the comments below. I'm enjoying this rather much. And I will uh, see you in the next one. Whenever that will be. Hopefully that will be soon, because now I can actually record things a bit more. Because I'm on holidays for the next several weeks. It's Christmas. Oh, that's a thing. Merry Christmas, everyone. See you next time. Bye. <laughs>